Hello there, my name is Fernando, and I'm a developer advocate here at GitLab. And as of recent, we've introduced GitLab 17.1, which provides several enhancements to our built-in container registry, including security scanning. Now let's get started to learn more about these new enhancements. In GitLab 17.1, we've added several improvements to our container registry. The container registry now associates signed container images with their signatures, allowing users to identify which images are signed and which are not, as well as find and validate the signatures that are associated with a container image. Container images also display and can be sorted by the last published date making it easier to find and validate images. We've also introduced container scanning for registry. When a container image is pushed with the latest tag, a container scanning job is automatically triggered against the default branch of the project. The scan job then generates a Cyclone DX SBOM that is uploaded to GitLab. GitLab displays the identified vulnerabilities within the vulnerability report page under container registry vulnerabilities. Now let's take a look at a container signing example. Before beginning, you must make sure that you have a correctly configured SigStore instance. From here, we'll take a look at the .gitlab CI YAML. Within our Docker build job, we can see that in the script section, we are using cosine to sign the container image. After pushing the image, we can go to our container registry and then select the container image that we pushed. Here, you can see that two images have been signed. Upon expanding a signed image, we can see information, including its signature digest. When clicking View Details, we're provided with advanced details on the signature. We can use this information to verify container image legitimacy. Now let's take a look at container scanning for registry. To enable this feature, go to the Secure Site tab and select Security Configuration. From here, we can scroll down to the Container Scanning for Registry section and click the radio button to enable. Now in my project, I'm going to go down to my .gitlab CI YAML, and you can see that within the build stage, I am pushing an image with the latest tag. Now I'll go back to my project and perform a simple change to kick off the container scanning for registry job. Continuous container scanning will run regardless of the change, as long as a container image with the latest tag is being pushed. If we go to the pipeline section, we can see that the build simple notes job completed successfully. This is where we pushed our latest tagged image. From there, if we go back to our pipelines, we can also see that a single container scanning job ran within a separate pipeline. This is what performed the container scanning of the registry. Once the job is complete, if I go to the secure tab and vulnerability report, I have a section which shows all the container registry vulnerabilities present. Currently, container scanning for registry only populates the vulnerability report when a new advisory is published to the GitLab advisory database. Future iterations will populate the vulnerability report with all present advisory data. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. To learn more about the GitLab 17 and 17.1 17 releases, see the links in the description, and make sure to click that like and subscribe button 